welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this shirt i'm making it for a client so he's a medium size um people normally ask me i know there are some shirts that you see online sometimes they add about three inches and flip at the back the, the length of the back and then turn it over this way when they're making like a senator or something guys it depends on you which method you want to use like a, a men's shirt you can make it just like this the same length with the method I'm, I'm using now you can also do the one where you have the seam in front where that's the one where you see the back is normally longer by maybe four inches and then they turn it over this way and insert the neckline insert the shoulder slope which i already have a tutorial for that on my channel even for the little boy shirt any method you want you can use right that is just like those shirts that you see like a jean jacket or um just shirts that you see some of them they have their shoulder they have the seam on the shoulder some of them they have their seam in front so it just depends on what method you want to work with there's no specific reason i just wanted to address that so now i'm just using the simplest method to make this particular shirt so all i'm going to do you see i, I folded this fabric into two the second one is also folded into two what i like his chest measurement divided by four and his chest is about 38 divided by four that's going to be about um nine uh, 9.5 sorry so 9.5 i added extra one inch for ease and then one inch of sewing allowance but if you want it depends on you you can do more than that you can do 1.5 of ease and one inch of sewing allowance depending on how free the person wants the shirt so you have to put that into consideration so you don't make this shirt too tight and then for the length of the shirt all i have here is just the length i'm working with plus extra 2.5 inches to fold the end so in total i have about 31.5 so now I'm going to go up to his shoulder, divide it by two. This top part is going to be my shoulder. Divided by two is going to be um, 8.5 because his shoulder is 17. Mark that here. I'm going to come down one inch of shoulder slope. So, and then after that, I'm going to insert his armhole, armhole here. Guys, if you don't know how to calculate the armhole length, that's the measurement to put in here. Just divide the person's chest measurement by six and then add extra um, 1.5 to it. That way you'll get the length you need for this part. You understand? So his chest measurement divided by six plus 1.5. That's how you're going to get the length here. So I'm going to mark mine, right? And then I'm going to try to rule a straight line up. So guys, once you do that, you're going to come to the neckline and mark three inches. This is just the basic that I'm using. I'm going to mark from that point here, just to my shoulder slope. You're going to insert your chest measurement divided by four. You're going to mark that plus the extra seam allowances that you need, right? So that is it from rule a line down and then cut it out. So guys, I have this here cut out. I also cut out the um, armhole here and then cut out the shoulder slope. So so guys once you do that now the next thing is just from this neck uh width here i'm going to mark the three inches that i already marked i'm going to come down one inch for the back neckline and then i'm going to do three inches for the front neckline and then you're going to give it a curve this way just like this and then i'm going to go ahead and cut it out so guys after that i've removed I, I cut the one inch for the both necklines and then took it out but then for the three inches i just cut it only in front you see this one is still just the one inch for the back neckline so guys once that is done the next thing is just to separate the front and the back there's nothing else we are cutting from the back this is done but for the front we still have to remove um from the armhole here so all you have to do is just to mark on this straight line what you have here i have nine I'm going to find halfway through which is 4.5 here go in by half an inch and then use a curve to connect it down here and then connect it straight above into this part here and then also for the neckline i'm going to come down depending on how long you want the placket to be if you look at the picture of the one we're trying to replicate here the placket is not long so i'm going to do 6.5 inches just enough to fit in his head and then i'm going to go ahead and slit that open this way up to that point and then i'm also going to cut this out so guys this is it here so i've gotten the fabric i'm going to be using for the um 
the placket so i'm just going to cut out what i would need so it depends on you you might do just the length you have here add about two inches to it so i have 6.5 i'm going to add two inches to it so that should be about 8.5 i'm going to cut out so guys now this is the um i'm using eight inches by six inches so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my front panel because i'm going to do the placket first before anything take the front panel you see the slit here i'm going to take this here place it on top making sure that it's more towards one side than the other because one side is going to be the part that is going to cover it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to follow that line right this line that i have here and then i'm going to make a stitch just like that going down from the bottom here all the way cross over and then come back up again so i'm going to make a stitch that looks like that make sure you have about one 1.5 towards this side you understand and then have the rest on this side make sure you have about 1.5 from the smaller side or at least two inches and then the rest of the measurement can be on this side so i'm going to go ahead and make that stitch so guys once you saw that you see i've sewn it to this here you see my stitch coming down and going back up so what i'm going to do is just to cut it open again so cut it down all the way to that point and then when you get to this part here you're going to just try to notch it towards the two directions one on this side and then one on the other side this way so now what i'm going to do is the one coming from this side i'm just going to use it to turn over here because this is where the button will be so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pinch out about half an inch at the edge and then use the half an inch to turn it at the back of this side here and just sew it all the way down right and then on this side this one here i'm going to also do the same thing but you have to do the smaller one first before the bigger one because this bigger one is now going to overlap this way so on this bigger one all, all i have to do is to pinch in half an inch on the edge also and then fold it this way now this one is now going to be the one to cover this side so guys the secret to this is as you're doing it try to iron it but i'm trying to demonstrate it here so i will still iron mine so guys now that this side is done the next one is this other side you're going to take it this way you see how i use this to turn over this side right fold it in and then you see it's folded into this part here and then i'm going to but before that i'm also going to cut off the excess from here so it will not be too bulky inside my clothes so just try to cut off the excess like the part that is folded right this part that is folded that is supposed to be inside here i cut it off you see the part that is folded underneath it is what i cut off so that when it falls it's going to fall like this so now on this other side i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to just fold in half an inch and then top stitch it this way so now once i do that this bigger part here is going to overlap and then i'm going to sew it come down to this part and tuck in half an inch at the bottom and come back up so that's how i'm going to finish it so guys this is it here i've once i finished this the next thing i did was to join the shoulder to the back and then now the next thing is to cut the sleeve and this is done so to cut the sleeve this is the fabric i'm using here so basically this fabric is on a fold you see the folded part this is the open part and then i made sure that if i close it up this way the width i have here will be able to fit in her armhole um, sorry his armhole divided by two plus at least one inch or two so now the next thing i'm going to do is just to go ahead and come down here by four inches right i'm going to come down here by four inches and then rule a straight line this way this is just how we normally um draw our basic bodies mark a line straight across find halfway through that line this way so that's 12.5 halfway through be about six points so i'm i'm going to just come here mark a cover above this way the next thing is the width so his sleeve width is about um 12 inches so i'm going to just add half an inch to it so 12 divided by 2 is going to be 6 plus half an inch that's going to be 6.5 and then one inch of sewing and then i'm just going to connect it from this point here to this like this and that's basically all i have to do for the sleeve so guys the length i have here he wants his sleeve to be 8.5 but i added about two inches of folding and half an inch of joining it to the top part so i'm just going to go ahead so guys this is the sleeve here i'm just going to go ahead and join it to the body close up the side and i'll bring it back so you guys should see 
so guys this is the front here this is the side so guys once you finish that like i said you're going to use that one inch you left for the side seam to close it and then once you get to this part i stopped at least eight inches before the end because i need and i know that i'm going to use two inches to fold the end of the cloth like uh this part and then i'll leave like six inches for the slit so basically what i did is one you see these two side seam the one inch of side seam the two of them i used one fold it this way so this from the top here crossed over from this point and then folded this on on this side also and then crossed over to this side so this is just how i did mine so as you can see on this other side now i'm going to do the same thing this is the one inch of sewing allowance that i used I, I double stitched it here and then i have about six inches left so all i have to do is to take this one here fold it this way sew it all the way get to that point cross over to this side and sew this one down to the end so once that is done you come to the neckline guys i measured my client's neck and his neck is about 16 inches right 16.5 so you're going to measure the person's neckline because this one you can at this point you can use bias just finish up the neck but this one here on the thumbnail that i'm trying to make has this color so what i did is just to open up my fabric the width is about it depends on you the width i have here is about four inches right so and then the length is just how measure the neckline of the client and then you know you're going to measure around this part too because you can't measure one before the other because the two of them will be closed so you're going to take it maybe start from this part here and just place your tape and measure round so mine is 16.5 this here i'm just measuring to make sure that the opening i have will fit his neck i'm not starting measuring for my collar because when you measure for the collar you have to open it up so that you can get this part and also get this extension going in but when you're measuring for just to be sure that the opening at the point at this point to fit the neck you leave it closed overlapped how it's supposed to be and then maybe start from one point and just start to measure so i'm going to check mine now and see if i have up to 16.5 right and then i'm back to where i started you see i have even 17 so i have extra half an inch for his for his neck so this would be okay but if you check and you find that the neck is not wide enough you can always just chip off a little like this you can just put your hand in this way take out a little maybe go down this way take out some more until you feel like it's enough that you can stop or you can even go from the back neckline and just bring it out by a quarter of an inch but guys don't cut too much each time you cut you measure again and check that it's okay each time you cut you measure and check that it's okay don't go and cut all all of them once and then measure it might be too wide at that point and one thing you don't want is for it to be too wide it to be gaping open so now the next thing you're going to now measure once you've done that is to measure the color um for the color so once you start to measure for the color you have to open it up and then you're going to take your tape and measure from one end and then you're going to cross over to the other part here which is what i'm doing now as you're moving you just turn your tape around this way so you see i've gotten to that end now so what i'm working with is about 18.5 you see 18.5 if i measure around the color 18.5 so you're going to make sure that the length you have is 18.5 and then you're going to use half an inch to close up both ends you see make sure that from here to here you have 18.5 but before you cut it make sure you've sewn in you leave like if you go to measure it what you're going to measure instead of 18.5 you measure 19.5 so that you use half an inch to join this end and half an inch to join this end which is exactly what i did here so now i'm going to use mine to make to join it and to join it what i'm going to do is just to take the color go from one end this way so you're going to take it so from one end take the color join it this way you're going to sew one first you know the, the two they're open this way you're going to join it to one of the piece first go around all the way to the end right once you finish that one once you finish going around with the first one then you're going to use the second one to cover it up right so that's how i'm going to do it so i'm going to go ahead now and join my color and bring back the finished product 
so guys this is it here so all i did is just to put in one button at the end this one doesn't open it's just for design and then one two so once you finish try to sew on top too just to help give it a clean finish so sew at the top too and then come down here so you see what the neckline looks like if i want i can open the button but guys if you want you can do a pressing button it doesn't have to be this type of button you see you can close it you can also open it so that's basically this is the bottom part of the shirt you see this is what it looks like guys this is the simplest form you can make this shirt in and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video please like share and subscribe and bye